Hi, I'm Rose, a software engineer working on Google's Cloud Spanner database. And hello again from me, Heather, and thanks for joining us, Rose. Glad to be here. So let's talk databases. If you were developing a new application, what would you say is more important, data consistency or scalability? Well, normally we'd have to choose between the two, but in today's episode, we'll talk about Google Cloud Spanner, the first relational database service that provides both strong transactional consistency and horizontal scalability to thousands of nodes. And towards the end of this episode, we'll also explore the application of Cloud Spanner within a self-paced lab. Let's get to it. Cloud Spanner is unique in the marketplace because it combines both relational database structure with horizontal scale and performance. What this means is that this significantly simplifies application development and database management, allowing you to deliver your apps faster. For example, for globally distributed apps, Cloud Spanner's multi-regional configuration automatically replicates a database across continents, allowing for localized reads, minimizing latency. Creating or scaling such a globally replicated database only takes a handful of clicks. At Google, we use Cloud Spanner for our own mission-critical services and apps that billions of people access every day. So downtime just isn't an option. It's great that we can share this battle-tested database service with our Google Cloud Platform users. Cloud Spanner databases have an industry-leading five nines of availability SLA, no plan downtime, and enterprise-grade security. If you have a traditional relational database system that's bursting at the seams or are struggling with hand-rolled transactions on top of an eventually consistent database, Cloud Spanner could be the solution you're looking for. Now it's time for Quick Labs. In this lab, we'll show you how to use the GCP console to create a Cloud Spanner instance, database, and table. We'll also show you how to add a schema, write data, modify it, and run a query. You can check out the link to start the Quick Lab here. Keep in mind that it'll take about 30 minutes to complete. At this point in the lab, we've created a Spanner instance, created a database for the Spanner instance, created a schema for the database, inserted some data into the Singers table. Now we're adding one more item to the Singers table. Next, we will select the item and click Edit. Make changes to the item and click Save. To delete the item, we will select it, click Delete, and click OK to confirm. To query the table, we click Query. Update the query and click Run Query. In this case, we get two singers that exist in our table. Well, that's the end of the episode, and we really hope you enjoyed it. We love to hear your feedback and how you apply our services, so please do share. And don't forget, GCP offers a 12-month free trial with $300 in credits, so you can apply what you've learned today and start using it with your data. If you want to learn more about Cloud Spanner, check out our training links below. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.